nice to the, to the apostles. You know? And there's only one group of men that call themselves apostles. The elders are great millstone men. But you got other elders. You know? But they're the only ones that actually came out and called themselves apostles. You know? So that was it. I, I, uh, you know, I'd like to end it with that, with uh, Revelation chapter 2 and 10. You know, to be, be thou faithful unto death. You know, and the Lord shall give thee a crown of life. Because it's going to get so intense, man. That if you ain't got faith in you, I should be out shy. Really, there's no way out. Oh, what is that? I'll get this in the Amos. Real quick, I'm gonna close with this. Another good one is having faith without work. Still, dead. You gotta have those both of those things. Cause he said, he said, I'll show my faith by my works. You know? Right, right. Say Amos five and eighteen. I haven't brought this one out in a long time. Right. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. And that's a lot of you Israelites, man. You know, that's a lot of you Israelites that know the truth. You know, you desire the day of the Lord. You know, oh yeah, how shall I give praise to the Lord? But you weren't doing the work. You took your hand off the plug, you never put your hand to the plow. Okay. When it come when it came to uh, you know, maybe sacrificing your time to watch videos or, or come to a camp, you know, to build yourself up. You went to a strip club, you went to go in. Go to a bar to get a beer. You went to do something that didn't build you up or wasn't beneficial. You got, you got, you got, you got Jake's to come across the camp and Shalom and know that they're Israelite and won't even stop to Know, don't even give them no, you know, like you in front of a camp and you just gonna walk by like you got better things to do, you know. Yeah. And we've seen that quite a few times. Oh yeah, many times. Or guys that come in the choir and be like, oh yeah, I'll be back, I'll see you guys again. You never see them again. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. To what end is it for you? The day of the Lord, yeah, I will buy shimmy, I will shine. Is darkness and not light. It's a very, a very bad, evil time. Like that man mentioned, Jacob's trouble. It's, just, it's a day of trouble for, for Israelites that don't believe in the Lord, man. It's a day of trial for Israelites that do believe in the Lord, man. It's a very serious, evil day, man. You know? As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall, and a serpent bit him. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light, even very, even very dark, and no brightness in it? You see. So, you know, you gotta you gotta take this serious and uh. When it comes to Israelites that know the truth, that know what's required of you, you need to fulfill your end of the bargain, man. Because we are under a contract, man. Okay? We are not under, you know, the beginning of the new covenant, which starts receiving the Spirit. Okay? The earnest of the Spirit. You know, so we know that we do have to keep the laws that you commandments to the best of our, our ability. You know, not saying that keeping the laws was going to save you. It's your faith. Okay. That contributes to your faith. Exactly. I, mean, I repented. I, you know, I kept the laws to the best. You have all these things under your belt. You know. Right. You have the, uh, you know, the resume. You're rehearsing the righteous acts. Right, right. You showed up to rehearse. Yeah. You know, you took it serious. Right. And for you guys that, you know, were playing around or 
take your hand off the plow. You know, as the scripture says, go unto you the desire of the day of the Lord. Or I mean in death and you know. So with that, you know, we want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, our Kagodash. Double honors to our apostles and our elders, Larry Well, a great millstone, and salutations to all you since your pocket that are preaching this word in all truth and in sincerity. And with that, we want to say, uh, we want to say, uh, Wathlah, the ball, Bamba Wathlah, call, I love you now. Shalom. Shalom.